So this is it people, we got the um, Super EQ S1 headphone, which is the wireless Bluetooth. And I've been told this is one of the best on its class range, the price range. So the interesting thing about this is that it has 24 months uh, extended warranty. So you're guaranteed for long-term sort of use on this one. And uh, there's a few things I wanna highlight that Bluetooth version of uh, 5.0. So anything that goes beyond 5.0 means that the lip syncing of the video clip that you watch on YouTube, for example, it'll be in line with it. Uh, the impedance of 32, Omega plus minus 10% and noise reduction depth of 28 to 33 dB. And the reason I'm saying noise reduction depth is that this is actually a hybrid active noise canceling headphone as well. So it's, it has a lot of function for its price. It's really good. Um, and it has the transparency mode as well. And it plays up to 45 hours. That's really good. So if you're on the plane, you can actually listen to the whole journey as well. Um, the over ear breathable, um, protein ear pods as well. So there's a lot of things that is really good for its price. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and listen to the sound quality and perhaps we'll actually compare it with my, again, Sony XM4 headphone as well. So let's get onto it. Okay, so the moment of truth, it's quite a compact box, I would say, but wow, we got the actual pouch. Oh, so that was the pouch itself and then once we open it up oh i see so that's how actually you take it out so we got the actual headphone and um, i believe there's this cable um, we'll figure it out soon anyway but let's get into the rest of the bits so it comes with the super eq all the quick manuals um, user manual and a quick guide. So um, no need to look at that. But let's look into the actual thing. Okay, so this is for the plane jack. Yeah, uh, that's the um, earphone jack to earphone jack. I love these cables. Actually, we're starting to get more of these, which is brilliant. Thank you very much. And that's the charging uh, cable. So this is the micro USB cable and it's very short, which is very sensible. But the thing is, I'm a bit concerned about the quality of these wires. These tend to not last long, especially when you bend it like this, but we shall see. Nice, so that's a really nice quality. I like that. It's very well secured and settled. Uh, the quality of the material is really nice as well. Uh, the only thing is that it has super EQ on it, so everyone knows what brand you're wearing it, but it kind of looks like um, Beats. I l used to love wearing these Beats a long time ago, eight, ten years ago. It was the thing, wasn't it? I mean, this kind of reminds me of Beats. Uh, I'm so sorry to say that, but it does remind me. I'm sure you uh, heard a lot about that super EQ stuff, but um, yeah, that's um, quite cool actually. And then on the bottom end, we got the uh, charging USB, micro USB slot, uh, the earphone jack. I believe that's the, um, probably that's the power on and on. And those, or those are the rest, I guess. So that's the one dot, two dots. And I think that's probably the power. And maybe that's for the noise cancellation. Oh, also, I forgot, uh, they also notched in a headphone stand as well. So that's very kind of him. So thank you very much for that. Again, I will cherish this. So for the moment of truth, um, make sure the left and right is actually on the right place. Now, um, just so you know, because of my shape, I know these sort of designs will actually hurt top of my head because I got a wide jaw and wide face. So I'm gonna place it this way. All connected up. So let's listen to the song called Summer Night by Aftertune. So here it goes. Okay, so the um, beat is fine. Yeah, it's really settled. Very good, I like that.
Yeah, the sharpness bit of the sound seems to be a bit fogged in, if you see what I mean. It's not that clear. But it's not bad, actually. Um, yeah, the beat is really nicely done, I have to say. But I wish the uh, treble sound could be more sharper. It's my preference, actually. You might be uh, against my opinion or different to my opinion, but definitely the beat is well settled, but the treble needs to be sharper. That's what I want to say. So let's seal the deal by listening to the uh, music through my XM4 Sony's headphones. So here it goes. Yeah, it's definitely lively. Yeah, this is what we're talking about, high quality sound. In fact, it's, it depends on which sort of settings you are, but this beat is a bit exaggerated, but it's because I have the sound setting under, um, I think it's excited. Yeah, so it's a bit too strong. So if I go to bright, then suddenly the treble sound is really sharpened, crisp, clear. So if I put it into maximum volume, it's strong because that's the power of Sony XM4. So the sound overall, I mean, for its price, it's not bad. I mean, we're actually comparing the more than 300 US dollars um, high quality, one of the best headphones here, which is Sony XM4 against this one, I think it's about 60 US dollars. Um, but it brings me good memories because it really does remind me of the uh, Beats. Uh, probably it's the same quality as the Beats at the time when I was listening to that uh, headphone. I don't re exactly remember the actual uh, sound quality. But then again, I think the quality itself of the material is better. Um, I can see that it will last longer, um, but I think it, it comes down to the sound. So the sound quality, the beat is very settled, um, but I wish there was a bit more sharpness onto the treble, actually. There sounds like a bit foggy on that sound. I don't know why, but that word's so constantly pop in my mind when I listen to some of the musics that I listen to. Um, again, this shape is not designed for my head shape, so I got an alternative, which is actually just do it this way for long-term use, just on the sideways, pull it down so that it, my head doesn't feel like squashed. Uh, the actual ANC is not bad, um, but I can still hear the sound of it. Um, but overall, I think you won't be put off by it. If you want a, a over-the-ear headphone with a decent sound, this is a perfect solution. So um, I would like to actually play around with some other headphones that is actually the similar price with the same Bluetooth sort of um, ANC function to see how good this is. But apparently I've been told uh, this is one of the best on its class again. So um, yeah, easy to use. I wish they could get rid of the Super EQ on each end, actually. Um, I don't mind the B3 on the top, actually, um, on each end, B3 and B Young. Um, but it comes down to the sound quality um, that, um, again, you can actually adjust it by using your smartphone. If you go to equal Equalizer, you can actually adjust it to different sounds. So there's also other alternative way to make it to your own preference overall. But yeah, not bad would be my um, honest opinion but if you have any queries please do comment below and i'll be more than happy to come back to you so i overall i want to thank super eq to give me this opportunity to review these headphones but um yeah overall very good anyway thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye